Good afternoon, classmates, schoolmates, and to our teacher, Ms. Mildred Martinez. Thank you for being with us and unlocking another topic. I am Mary Grace C. Bison from Betel and 4C, your mediator number one for this afternoon. Of course, please help me welcome my partner mediator for this session. Partner? Yes, thank you partner and good afternoon to each and every one of us. I am Arjun Buenaventura, your mediator number two for this session. We would like to introduce our presenters, Miss Malin Murillo and Miss Sheena Marina Varete from Team 9C. And we will talk about episode 7 using appropriate assessment tools. We would like everyone to sit down there, watch this presentation and learn something. Presenters, are you ready? Yes! Oops, it seems that you are ready. Now, without further ado, Team 9C, the virtual floor is now yours. Due to diversity inside the learning environment, varied learning styles, methods, capability, and background, occurrence of multiple intelligences among learners is not possible. This afternoon, we are going to learn about the appropriateness of assessment tools inside the classroom. What is assessment tools? Descri Described as a method of measuring the level of progress among learners, the process that supports learners to reflect on their own growth, evidence of the learner's mastery of knowledge, skills, and understanding at a point in time. Assessment tools come in a various form. We will talk them later on on how they assesses the three domains of learning. Assessment methods can be classified as traditional assessment method and authentic assessment method. Traditional assessment method refers to usual paper-pencil tests. Assess learning in the cognitive domain. Matching type, true or false, multiple choice, short answer, completion test are examples of assessment tools under the traditional method. However, inadequate to measure all forms of learning, low order thinking skills, remembering, understanding, and applying. Remembering refers what students can reproduce exactly the same way the key terms are identify, remember, and recognize. Understanding, on the other hand, are students able to explain the lessons in their own words. The key words are explain, describe, and summarize. While applying, applying the lesson learned into new situation. Key words are construct, calculate, and solve. Authentic Assessment Method Intellectual accomplishments that are worthwhile, significant, and meaningful. Assess affective and psychomotor domain. Huts or higher order thinking skills. Assessment tools are outputs, reflective journals, dramatization, experiment and performance tasks. According to the output of Amarelio and Navarrete, among the six observed teachers, oral questioning and product rating are the most used assessment tools. Oral questioning is a form of inquiry-based instruction that provides real-time feedback about the understanding between the teacher-student. Product rating, on the other hand, is a form of identifying or checking learners' level of understanding by applying lesson learned into output. Comes in second are the multiple choice, an objective type of test that measures remembering or memory skills. True false, also an objective type of test. Performance checklist is subjective type of test that identifies the reliability and validity of learning acquired. Third most used are matching type and 
short answer, which are both objective type of test and assess memory skills. Fourth are the completion test, measure memory, performance test. It assesses the level of understanding by applying and evaluating fallible ideas. Comes in last are the observation and self-reports. Assess understanding by complying reflective and subjective type of assessment. Supports analyzation and evaluating skills. We make use of varied assessment methods because there are many forms of learning skills needs to be acquired just like the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. Due to multiple intelligences, students must be given the opportunity to demonstrate learning that is aligned to their intelligence. Thank you. Thank you so much for the informative presentation, Team 9C. Now, we will go ahead to question and answer portion. We will read the question twice and you can answer it afterwards. Are you ready, Team 9C? Yes! The first question to be answered by Miss Jenna Navariti is from Griselda Ganyolon. Goes, how can students and teachers use the assessment as a learning tool and a learning support? Again, how can students and teachers use the assessment as a learning tool and a learning support? Assessment are made to guide students and teachers along their journey of teaching and learning. It plays a big role to the both parties as a learning tool and as a learning support. Learning tool like, for example, an assessment that includes with the help of technological applications where both teachers and students can use for the preparations of the lessons, for creative projects and outputs, for example. Then, learning support because through those technological applications, the discussions are made easier to discuss and are made more presentable in a way to capture the attention and focus of the students. The second question is from yours truly and to be answered by Ms. Malin Morillo. Based on your report, what is the most assessment method being used? Do you think that assessment method is effective? Explain your answer. Again, based on your report, what is the most assessment method being used? Do you think that assessment method is effective? Explain your answer. The most used assessment method are the oral questioning and product rating. Oral questioning is a form of inquiry-based instruction that provides real-time feedback about the understanding of the students. Product rating, on the other hand, is a tool that identifies or checks learners' level of understanding by applying lesson learned into an output. I do believe they are effective because they assesses the three domains of learning. The application of oral question is effectively encompasses the cognitive domain and product rating or performance encompasses affective and psychomotor domain. We all know the relevance of acquiring the three domains of learning. Every child matters. Multiple intelligence exists. We have to give opportunities to that learners with different needs are counted. The last question comes from me and answerable by any of you. The scenario is, this year, majority of schools implemented modular learning. It is undeniable that some students simply Google the questions or search and brainly specifically to find answers instantly without reading the article attached to the modular. Again, this year, majority of schools implemented modular learning. It is undeniable that some students simply Google the questions or search and brainly specifically to find answers instantly without reading the article attached to the module. And the question is, do you believe that the assessment methods accurately assess the learner's knowledge and skills based on the scenario? How can you say so? Again, do you believe that the assessment methods accurately assess the learner's knowledge and skills based on the scenario? How can you say so? There are many factors that may interfere when we say accuracy in the application of the tool. What matters most is the reliability and validity of learning. 
students learn in their own. They differ in each one another, and applying same method may be unfair for the others. As long as the child or the learner able to showcase the objectives of the lessons and shows validity and reliability of the acquired knowledge, then everything will be fine. Very nice answer, Ms. Morelio. Do you want to add something, Ms. Shana Navarrete? Based on the scenario, I can tell that it's not an effective assessment method for learners' growth. Though we respect an abiding protocols amidst the pandemic and modular, modular learnings are implemented, it's not as effective compared to classes during face-to-face. -face. In this scenario, students' goals are for completion of their modules only. Their mindset are only focusing on that. They became lazy to find an alternative way to better understand the content of their modules. Their mindset are set to find a shortcut of answering modules and are too lazy to even read and understand the lesson. Because for them, answers can be found through searching on Google and or to any other applications. Thank you for the answers, Ms. Malin Morillo and Ms. Shina Navarrete. It looks like we've covered all of our questions. Team 90, is there anything else you wanted to cover before we go to our insights? No. Okay, so here's the insights from Angelica Habonete. Choosing assessment tools for your courses is at the heart of curriculum planning. These tools will motivate student learning because they will be the first thing that attract learners' attention. You must consider the context when choosing your assessment tool and the results from assessments should, above all, inform improvements whether at school, at work, or in your projects. Assessment is not only a tool to give a grade to the students, but a way to promote a better acquisition of concepts and skills, as well as to encourage a more effective teaching and learning processes. Additional insights by Cheryl Amarillo goes, assessment should include grading, learning, and incentive. Assessment procedures that are well designed provide useful information regarding student learning. They explain what students learn, how well they understood it, and why they struggled. Students can build critical thinking and analytical abilities during the learning process. While they are assessing themselves, students are learning and improving their cognitive skills. They gather information for the teacher that shows students' needs. Teachers can establish a challenging learning environment that will challenge every student to improve if they can understand what students need to success. Additional insights from Criselda Ganilon. In the classroom, assessment methods are utilized to measure and evaluate student learning while also giving students with a variety of options. It provides critical feedback to both the instructor and the students on how well they are meeting the course learning objectives. Exams that are well designed can encourage active learning, especially when the evaluation is unique and entertaining. Today, students require not only fundamental reading and math skills, but also the capacity to adapt to a rapidly changing environment. Changes in students' skill base and knowledge requirements necessitate new learning objectives, which alter the interplay between assessment and instruction. Teachers must be included in the assessment goal and content decision-making process. An assessment is a lens through which educators can enhance their evaluation processes, obtain a better knowledge of learning, and detect previously unknown hurdles. An assessment might reveal information about a person's expertise. Wow, it's a great insights indeed. Thank you everyone. We appreciate all of you being here. Thank you Ms. Marielen Morelio and Ms. Shena Marina Varetti for unlocking another topic. I am Mary Grace C. B. and I would like to end this presentation with this nice sounding statement from Palumba and Banta. Goes, the important question is not how assessment is defined, but whether assessment information is used. Thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon and we will see you next time. Bye-bye!